Hello everyone. Welcome to Style 3D Atelier channel. In this video, you will learn how to record animation in Atelier. How to export and import Alembic. And an easy way to quickly add materials in Blender through Maya. Let's get start. First, this is a dress we've already make. Then, let's begin the animation. Open the animation editor. You can add move here. The above are the default actions of the software. The following dance moves can share with you as materials. Choose one to add. Transition time can be one to three depending on the simulation. Now the move is added. Before record, we need to check the garment. First check if there are any fixed pins. Next, we need to judge the easy to drop part of the garment. The straps of this dress will slip off easily. Use tack to avatar to fix straps. After treating the garment like this. Before record, we have to set the simulation frame. The higher the better. But affect computer performance and increase recording time. Generally choose the middle value of 30. After these, we can start recording. We can see the action is begin. Model penetration may occur when recording. The solution is to pause the recording when model is not penetrated. At this time, the hand and leg separated. So we can pause the recording. Then drag the dress during simulation. After adjusting, we can continue recording. To save time, let's go directly to the recording results. Find a suitable start. Here, we can change unit to frame. So that we can see the beginning frame is 181. Adjust the start time in the property editor accordingly. Similarly, select the end time. Before exporting the animation, we need to arrange the UV. Open the UV editor. Select all patterns to rearrange. Here we can choose other texture to see. Finally we can export the animation in Alambic. Create a new folder to save. First, you can choose the export of avatar and garment. Next, we must tick the unified UV coordinates. And tick the texture maps you need. The scale generally changed to CM and 10%. Axis conversion, we need to change Y axis to the app. This is the contents of the exported file. Only the clothing textures are here. So we need to export other foam out of the avatar to get its texture. Choose to export obj format. Cancel all patterns. Also tick Unified UV Coordinates and Required Maps. Change Scale to CM and 10%. Sure, that Y, up. In this way, the avatar texture is exported. Next, let's import the Alembic in Blender. Go to Shading to add textures. There will be a lot of garment patterns and shaders when directly imported. This will also result in the texture of a pattern being added multiple times. Select any pattern adding nodes to see. A plugin is used here to quickly add textures. Open the preferences. Find add-ons and search the node. Make sure the node wrangler is ticked. In this way, we can quickly add textures with shortcut keys, Control plus Shift plus T. The five material balls here all need to add materials. Choose another and apply material to the first one dash side two.
The texture can only appear when all the shaders are added. Once the material is applied to the first pattern, the rest is very simple. Select all the garment. You need to finally click on the pattern which added material. The performance is that the color of the selection becomes yellow. Then, Ctrl plus L to quickly link materials. Now the garment texture is added. For the avatar textures, there is a simple way. First, import the avatar object. We can see that the avatar texture is automatically added. So next, we just need to replace the animated avatar material with the object one. Just like this. Let's replace the materials one by one. Now the avatar material has been replaced. So we can delete the object avatar. Next, we need to check the nodes. The hair node has a bit of a problem. This image should be the roughness map. And the eyes also has problems. Choose the tears first and change the alpha to zero. Next, the eyes. Missing the roughness map. Drag it in and connect. Finally find the cornea. And change its alpha to zero. In this way, the ABC material has been added. Let's back to layout to see the animation. In this way, the animations and materials in Atelier are successfully imported into Blender. Finally, let's solve the problem of too many patterns. When importing Atelier garment into Blender, we need to come to Maya to unify the materials of the garment patterns. The collections are divided according to Atelier's fabrics. Come to the rendering bar to quickly unify materials. Of course, the choice of material can be arbitrary. Just make sure that each collection replaces one material. Then we can determine the last frame. It's 152 frames. Take garment as an example, so keep only garment. Then export the alembic in cache. Here to input last frame. Make sure ticking verbose, UV right, right UV sets. Back to Blender to add the garment. Again, let's select any pattern to add nodes. Obviously, the pattern only needs to add textures once. Use Ctrl plus L can quickly link rest materials. This method is suitable for clothing with complex materials. So the process of Atelier animation production to Blender material adding is explained here. That's it guys, and I hope some of the tips will help your modeling work. If you like what we do, please liking, commenting, and sharing this video. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in next video. Goodbye.